Hello everyone, welcome back to Chaldean reading and writing class. Today we will be going over chapter 1, but before you watch this video, make sure to watch the introduction video that we made so that you have a background of exactly what we're going to be getting into. And again, it's very important that uh, you get one of the books, even though I know we provide uh, some PDF uh, versions of it in our videos, it's still very helpful to go through the book and work with us as we're working through the book. So. Uh, assuming that you already have the consonants memorized and down, today we're going to be going over chapter 1, which we'll be going over the six letters of Alep, Beth, Daleth, Lameth, Mim, and Resh, and as well as two vowel marks, the long A and the long I. And remember that uh, we spoke about this in the introduction video, that the Mim has a final form, and we will see that um, in this chapter, chapter one. So now what we're looking at are the letters that I was uh, talking about just a bit ago, and we'll go through them together, okay? So just a refresher, we will begin with the consonant alep, okay? So alep is right here, it makes an a ah sound, a ah as in air, okay? And it is called alep. Then, right under it, we have Beth. Beth for boy. Then we have Daleth, as in dog. Then we have Lameth, as in love. Then we have Mim, as in mom. And as you can see, there are two consonants here. It looks like there's two consonants. One right there and one right there. This one here is sorry about that circle, is the final meme that you will see in words, which we will see later. And the last one we're going to be studying in this chapter is resh, as in red. So with these consonants, we're going to be also learning two vowel marks, the skapa and the zlama kiriya. The skapa makes a sound, the same sound as ball, as the A in ball. And the Islamic Kiriya, which shows the two dots next to each other, uh, below a consonant, makes the same sound as the letter I in bit. So, uh, it makes that sound. Okay, so with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to exercise these vowel marks on the same consonants that we're going to be learning today, okay? So, we're going to go through them right now, okay? So, alep, when you put skapa above alep, which are the two dots, and alep over there, it makes a sound, ah. So, because uh, the sound of alep becomes ah, when you put two dots above it, it becomes uh when you put two dots below it that are next to each other. So you have a and a. And it's a easy way to memorize this is to uh, go use your voice in the direction that the dots, that the vowels are going in, okay? So next we get to Beth. Beth, you have two dots on top, makes the sound ba. And then over here, two dots on the bottom, uh, next to each other, makes a sound b, b. Next we have delath. Delath here makes a sound da. And delath here makes a sound d. Next we come to lameth. The sound is la for skapa. The two dots going up. Then for the two dots next to each other, the sound is L. Okay? So now let's go through it uh, a little more just so we can understand it more and memorize it as much as possible. And a good way to practice this is when you're done going through it with me, it's very good to go through it on your own and actually say it out loud. You would be surprised how 
how beneficial it is to actually say this out loud, actually vocalize it so that your ear could get used to that certain uh, sound and that your, your tongue will be able to uh, flow these uh, sounds off very nicely. So we will start with one using the consonant alep. Okay, so alep makes the same sound as a, as a, okay. So over here, we're going to say a, a, a. Over here, we would say e, e, e. Next, we come to beth. So the sound that beth makes is b, same sound as the letter b. So two dots on top, sorry about that, two dots on top would be ba, ba, ba. Then next in this section, it is b, b, b. Now, we're going to say our first word in this section. So what we're doing here is we're putting uh, the consonants together. So we have one beth, another beth there, and an alep. Okay, and this will form the word ba ba. And remember, when an alep is alone, it does not make a sound. So we see that here, right? We see that in this example, and all three are the same word. But we see the only consonants we hear are the ones that have vowels on it, uh, and we we sound out all of the consonants that have vowels on it, except the alep. So here we have ba, ba, ba. And if you're following along in the book, the page we're on right now is two. Next, we come to delath. So delath makes the same sound as the letter D in English. So d, d, d. Then we have da, da, da. Next, we have d, d, D. In this section, we have another word we're going to be putting together with delath, another delath, and an alep. Okay, and remember the alep when it does not have a vowel, when it does, uh, when it does not carry a vowel, it does not make a sound. So this would be da da, da da, da da. Now we have another word. So we see what are the consonants we see. First see the delath right there. And then we see the beth right there. And then the last consonant we see is the alep. Okay. So we see different vowel marks on each letter. So the delath has uh, the two dots right below it next to each other, which makes the sound d. The beth has the two vowels going up, skapa. And that makes it sound ba. And the alep does not have any vowels. And we know that it does not make a sound when it does not have a vowel. So this word would come out to be d ba. D ba. And you put it together. And remember to say it out loud. Okay, now to four. We have lemeth. So it makes the same sound as the letter L in English. So l, l, l. Now we have lemeth with the two dots going on top. La, la, la. Have the two dots on the bottom. It would be l, l, l. Now we come to another word. We have lemeth, beth, and alep. The lemeth has the two dots on the bottom. The beth has the two dots going up. The lemeth would make the sound l. And the beth would make the, would make the sound ba. So this is le ba. Le ba. Le ba. Now to number five, mim. The, it makes the same same sound as the letter m in English. So m m m. Now the two dots going on top, ma ma. Ma. M, m, m. Here is another word. We see a meme, another meme, 
and an alab. And both dots are going on top on both memes. So the word would be ma ma, ma ma, ma ma. And here, number six, we have the resh. Okay. So it would make the sound is r, r, r. Same sound as the letter R in English. Okay. Two dots going on top. Ra, ra, ra. R, r, r. Here we have a resh there, a beth there, and an alab. Okay. And both dots are going on top on both the resh and the beth. This would come out to be Raba, Raba, Raba. Okay. So now that we put the vowels on these consonants that we're learning, remember for this section we're only going to be learning um, only these consonants and these vowels. And then you're going to see once we gradually start going through the lessons, you're going to, it's going to be much easier for you to uh, piece things together, to be able to recognize uh, which vowels make which sound. And uh, when you put a certain vowel on a certain consonant, uh, why it makes it give that certain sound, uh, especially in, 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 uh, in that word. Okay. So now... Next, we're going to see, okay, so over here we have the words being formed, okay, and right now I'm going to just leave this as is, okay, um, and skip to the next section, okay, because the next section, and if you have the book, this is on page three, the next section is a word bank. It shows you the definition of the words that we're using in this chapter, okay? And this is very important because this section is going to help you and uh, is going to help you on the second part of uh, this lesson, chapter one, which I will be explaining in a little bit, but it will also help you um, read these lines out loud. Remember, it's very necessary to read one, two, three, four. If you want to get chapter one down, it is very necessary to read these out loud to yourself and really get the hang of these consonants and vowels that we're learning together. Okay, so I'm going to go through them a little quickly um, with you guys just so you know um, and have an idea of what they are and what they sound like. Okay, but before you listen to this, I encourage you to try uh, yourself to try to get it. If you're if you're watching this with your family, try together. Try to piece things together, um, and then watch me as I say the sound of these words. Okay. So first, we have Baba, Dada, Raba, Rama, Baba, Raba. Dada, Rama. Number two, Mama, Mara, Illa, Milla, Mara, Milla, Mama. Now number three, Dibba. Dimma, Dla, La, Libba, Libana, Dibba, Libba, Dimma, Libana. Number four, Min. And remember, this is a noon. This is a final form of a noon. This word here, what you see is a final form of noon. Remember, we're reading from right to left. 
and this noon is a final form. So here we have a meme and a noon. Min. Ma. Illa. La. Dibba. Dla. Rama. Mama. Raba. Over here, like I said, is the word bank that will help you understand and translate these words that we just went through. So before we end and before I give you your homework, and yes, you do have homework for this lesson, and it is very important to take the homework seriously and uh, really go through the exercises because if you really want to learn how to read and write Chaldean, you need to um, be dedicated to what we're doing here and really take it seriously. And I encourage you to do it with someone else, do it with a friend, do it with your family, do it with whoever you want. But when you do it with someone else, it will, help, it will number one, hold you accountable for getting your homework done and everything else. And number two, it will help you to encourage each other to learn more and practice with each other and ask questions and be more engaged in the content. Okay, so your homework is going to be, and this is on page three if you have the book in the second half, is going to be A and B. A, you have to translate the following Chaldean words into English for extra practice. Transliterate each line as well. Remember, transliteration is writing uh, the Chaldean word in English letters, okay? So you're going to go through uh, all six and you're going to translate them in English the way you're able to know what words mean what is again in the word bank, okay? And remember, the word bank is not only um, there for you to help you with the exercises, but it's there for you to memorize. Look at the top, it says remember. These are for you to remember because we are going to be using some of the same vocab and, uh, and consonants and vowels in the, next, in the upcoming chapters. So you're going to see how things will start to get mixed in and you need to really get things down before you watch the second, um, before we get to the second chapter. So A is to do that. B is to translate the following English words into Chaldean. So the first one is a little easier uh, to do, but uh, B, to translate the following English word into, words into Chaldean, will need um, a lot of effort on your end because now you're going to finally be writing in Chaldean. Okay? You're going to finally be attaching vowels onto the consonants. Remember, just take it very slow, be very patient with it, and if this is your first time trying to learn, don't worry, it's okay if it takes you a while to uh, draw the Beth out or draw an Alep, just keep practicing and uh, go through all of these exercises and take your time with it and try to consume as much as you can so that you may uh, grow in learning Chaldean and be ready for chapter two. And again, thank you all for watching and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me on social media and I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. God bless you always.